Three suspects are on the run tonight after robbing a jewelry store in Oak Lawn. Police say the men broke through the business next door. The family of the store's owner says he was badly beaten. WTN's Brona Tumulty live in Oak Lawn tonight with the details on that. Brona. Good evening, guys. Ramala Jewelry is right behind me here in Oak Lawn. It has been here for more than 30 years, we're told, so the community is very familiar with it. But as the owner showed up here today, he had no idea there were three suspects waiting in the vacant business right next door for the perfect moment to bust through the wall. It looks like they just kicked, their, kicked it through and then pulled the drywall out. Elias Simsia, a well-known, well-respected jeweler in Oak Lawn, had just opened up for the day. At about 12.15 this afternoon. When police say three thieves burst through the wall. He was getting ready for the day, and once he settled in, that's when they came back through the wall and accosted him. We're told the trio broke into a vacant retail space next door, sliced through one side of the wall and kicked in the rest when they heard Elias inside. His family says they immediately snipped the phone line, which actually triggered the alarm. But the heist proceeded for seven minutes inside the store. During that time, Elias's loved ones say he was tied up, beaten severely and display cases were smashed. From what I'm aware of, they took a, a good deal of uh, gold necklaces and bracelets and some loose jewellery and stones and stuff that were in a repair room. What they really wanted, were told, was the key to the safe. But Elias didn't have it. His partner did. And the partner had yet to arrive. After wreaking havoc inside, authorities tell us the suspects left the way they'd arrived, through that hole, and took off eastbound on foot in the middle of the afternoon. That's an anomaly with it. If you're good, usually burglaries happen in overnight hours or when it's dark outside. It's very rare. It's very rare to see a, a, a daylight bur burglary at a business. Now, Elias is a father of three. He's in his mid 60s. You can imagine how worried the whole family was. It's a very warm, lovely family. We spoke with them off camera today and they did want everybody in the community to know that Elias is doing okay. He did go to the hospital this evening for further evaluation. He was, they say, attacked with a crowbar and please say at least one of those suspects had a gun. If you do have any information that could help them, you're asked to give them a call. We're live in Oak Lawn, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.